Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com. Recently we had released a wonderful new tool for our meetings, and that is our Christian Life and Ministry publication, which is going to serve as our meeting workbook for our midweek meeting. Now, you may have been using uh, iBooks to study the Kingdom Ministry in the past, and uh, as you can see, I've got iBooks up here on my uh, iPad, and I've got our Christian Life and Ministry EPUB already downloaded. The nice thing about uh, iBooks is, first of all, it's the default app that EPUB documents will want to open on, or open into on your iPad. Uh, some great features are the ability to touch a scripture and see a pop-up for that scripture. Um, also, we can highlight just by dragging our finger. And if we have that same document uh, downloaded to our other devices, for example, our iPhone, um, these changes or these highlights, or perhaps if we add a note, um, that will sync over, but only if we've already downloaded that same document. So it's a little funny how it works, but um, I do like the ability to have scriptural pop-ups here. On the other hand, we may be uh, used to using an app like Documents by Readle. I've got that open here, and this one will allow you to view PDFs, which is a nice format uh, that will allow us to add annotations and highlighting. Um, Actually, it does a lot more than what iBooks allows us to do. I've got our Christian Life and Ministry PDF downloaded here and open in Documents by Readle. So you can see I can highlight here, just selecting some text and tapping highlight. I can also add notes like we do in uh, iBooks. We'll just type a quick, quick one there. But I also like the ability with the PDF in Documents to add text. So we can add some comments here. We can add text like that. We can change the text to anything we'd like. And we can move it around anytime we want. So we can have a comment available without having to tap on a note, anything like that. So I like having the ability to add text. You can also add uh, images, sounds. Uh, different things that are not available in iBooks. Now the downside to using the PDF in Documents by Readle is the scriptures are not linkable. So if I tap on a scripture, it doesn't do anything. But wouldn't it be nice if we could have the best of both worlds, the scriptural pop-ups or links, as well as the ability to add images, text, things like that into the PDF file? Well, we can do that, and it's using a app called the file converter. Now I've got the iTunes app store open right here on my iPad and uh, you can see I've got the file converter app already searched for in the app store. This is the one that we're going to use to actually do the conversion of our meeting workbook from EPUB to PDF and it's going to save the links from the EPUB or the scriptural links to use in the PDF. So I've got it here. So go ahead and download that first, and then we're going to go over into Safari now and download the EPUB. All right, so I've got JW.org open here on Safari, and I'm going to want to go and navigate to where we can get our meeting workbook. So we'll go into Publications at the top. Then on the left-hand side, we'll tap on Meeting Workbooks. And here's our January 2016 Our Christian Life and Ministry Workbook. We'll tap on this icon that looks like a little piece of paper. And uh, for this uh, example, we want to choose the EPUB document. So we'll tap on that and we'll allow it to download. Once the uh, EPUB has downloaded, you'll get a screen that looks like this. It'll allow you to open the EPUB in iBooks or open in another app. So for this time, we want to open in the File Converter app. So tap on Open In, and then in the uh, dialog box that comes up, choose the File Converter app. Okay, so now it's opened up the file, this EPUB document, into the File Converter app. And uh, you can see that it's populated that From field at the top with our EPUB. And now we need to select what we want to convert it into, which is that PDF. So I'm going to scroll down here. There's a couple of different uh, PDF options here. Uh, I'm going to choose ebook for this demonstration. So we'll tap go. 
Now it's going to upload it to an offline server where it will be converted and then you'll see it download uh, to our device. Alright, so it's done converting now and it's downloading. Next it's going to ask us what app we would like to open the converted PDF file into. So you'll see that screen come up here when it's done. Alright, so here we have our PDF and I'd like to choose open in and we'll choose our favorite uh, app that we like to store and annotate uh, documents in and that is the documents app by Rito. Alright, so there we go. It opens up the document uh, right here, this new PDF document. And let's uh, scroll over and I'll show you how it's preserved uh, many of the links from the EPUB. Alright, so here we have our information here. And uh, just to show you, the links do work. So we'll tap on Hebrews 13.18 here. And that goes down to Hebrews 13.18, which we can then uh, highlight if we'd like. If we want to go back to where we were, let's uh, tap the back button here at the top right. So tap that, that goes, brings us back to where we were before. But with this new PDF, it's very cool because it preserves a lot from the EPUB. For example, the uh, scriptural links that we just showed you. Uh, also, if you go up here to the right hand side, uh, our bookmarks are also preserved from our EPUB. So you can go and skip to maybe January 18th through the 24th. Now we're over there into that. And uh, some of these uh, links are still active. For example, Jehovah Keeps His Promises right here. We'll tap on that and it brings us right to that part of the article. So this is cool because all these links are preserved, but we can also add that text just like we were showing you before. So if I tap on hold, we can uh, add a comment. Okay, and we can change the color to whatever we'd like. We can move it around. We can highlight with different colors if we'd like by tapping on the highlight again, going to colors, picking a different color. So basically we have all of the great aspects of the EPUB, but now in PDF format so that we can study it, add annotations, things like that using documents or PDF expert by Rito. I've just switched over to landscape view here to give a little better idea of how the documents app works. Now, if I want to save uh, and sync these annotations across all my devices, uh, this will need to go into the cloud. So I'm going to go back to my main view in documents. This is my file viewer up in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to tap on documents. Now I can see all of the folders that I have synced. Uh, actually, I'm using Dropbox, but you could use uh, iCloud or any other network storage that you'd like. To sync this over to the rest of your uh, devices, I'm just going to tap and hold on our newly converted uh, meeting workbook PDF. And if we want to sync it to Dropbox or an online storage service, we'll just drag it onto network here. And here I've got my Dropbox open where I can go in and decide where I want to save it. But I'm not going to put it in the Dropbox. I'm going to save it to iCloud. So I'm going to go right up here to iCloud. And now it's saved to my iCloud in document. So to see that, I'm going to tap on iCloud Drive up here. I've got my documents by Rito folder in iCloud Drive. And here's our PDF. So we can open that again and do any annotations or anything we'd like. Now it is important to note that using documents by Rito, uh, can highlight and add notes and sync, but if you'd like to open up the ability to add annotations, you should use the PDF Expert app. This has been AppChasers.com.